Hey everyone, I'm the person behind Notion Workflow, and my name is Ray. This is the first time I'm going to have my video on for one of my videos, and let's get started. Today's video is going to be about using the link formula function within Notion Formulas 2.0. It allows us to conveniently create a linked text attribute within a Notion formula output, and we can also reference a URL property, which allows you to just select links within a Notion database. So I have two properties I've created, the URL property and the Notion formula property, and let's get started right away. So I'm going to go to formula, and I am going to scroll down, and as you can see, you can see all the properties within this database that we won't be using today. And as you can tell, you can scroll through the entire list of formulas just in case you want to sort of start experimenting or gain a better perspective on what is available within a Notion formula property. In our case, we're going to be using the link. What's nice is when you start typing, it will suggest formula functions. In our case, I just typed in LIN and it suggested the link formula. So what's nice now is you it will let you know what you're looking for and how you can use it. So we're going to add that link formula. And we add some text. And then we add our URL. In our case, because we've created that URL property, we can just tag it there. And it will appear like so with the link text. So let's create a database for Notion resources. Let's select Notion templates as a resource and add it in the URL section. So now, if we create a new view, for example, and show that formula that we made, that text becomes a clickable element that'll take us to template link we just added. That, I'm going to also add Notion formula syntax. I think this is a really valuable page that is a good bookmark as well. And there's that URL. I'm going to ignore these other properties. Now when we click on this text, we're going to get straight to that syntax page that we just copied and pasted. Maybe we can add a few more resources as well, Notion help. Let's use this help page. It'd be incredibly valuable as well. Let's paste it in there. Click it, go back. And then let's also have a link for Notion videos, right? Notion has their own YouTube channel that you can also learn from. So I'm going to copy and paste that link. New that in there. We can click on that. We get there as well. And then we also can't forget Notion workflow, of course. So we can copy paste that. And there we go. We have nine different resources that you can tap into immediately through the formula output by clicking on it, right? And that can be incredibly helpful for various reasons. And let's take it a step further with this formula. So we're gonna go back to our view and come back to our database view here. So as you can tell, text isn't that descriptive and it's not very helpful when it comes to that output. And so what we can reference now or replace this text element with is by referencing one of the property attributes of the database entry. In our case, because we've named every entry in this database, we can just scroll down and go to name and replace that text with name to create that very simple text output that extracts directly from the name of the database entry itself. So we click on done. 
and go to list, we have a neat way to show these properties through the naming of the database entry itself. Obviously, we can reference other properties as well if we wanted to, but this is a really helpful, easy, intuitive way of using the link formula function in Notion. I don't think there's a really basic video showcasing this, but I thought I'd make a video showing how easy it is to use and um, how it might make sense to integrate within your Notion workspace. So thanks for watching. This uh, camera is kind of a new experience for me. So um, let me know if you'd prefer not to see me on screen or me staring at the screen because I'm still kind of winging it and learning it out here. So, alrighty.